Hello and welcome to another podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Bobkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. The United Kingdom. In his article in the New Statesman, Mady Hayson criticizes the ineffectiveness of quantitative easing QE, in the UK and how it has benefited the banking sector and the richest. He asks a question, why not give the QE money directly to ordinary people to spend, save or pay off their debts? He also emphasizes that in 2009, Australia actually did something similar when the global crisis hit, giving one-off cash payments to low- and middle-income groups, particularly pensioners and cash-constrained families. This helped soften the impact of the crisis and generated significant positive effects. Switzerland Anna Schmidt, co-founder of Generation Basic Income, joins two members of the organization to share their experiences gathering signatures for Switzerland Basic Income Initiative. They also discuss their reasons for supporting this vote and how they think it may transform the Swiss society. The basic income issue is now in the hands of Switzerland's government and will be scheduled for a vote after it has assessed its implications. The United States News of the forthcoming Swiss referendum on the basic income proposal continues to make inroads in the popular press, this time across the Atlantic where the New York Times features this important political moment in a positive light. The article runs through the manifold arguments in favor of the idea, elaborates on the different types of proposal that could come into being, for example unconditional, means-tested, how it appeals both to left and right persuasions and charts its historical roots both in North America and elsewhere. Significantly, the author recognizes its potential and how it could make sense in the United States too, for example, helping to address its current social ills such as stagnant wages, high and stubborn long-term employment. The United States Discussing the Swiss Basic Income Initiative, Fox News commentators stress how many other programs government could cut if VI were introduced, but they agree it's a great idea. The United States A petition is now online at the whitehouse.gov website reading We petition the Obama administration to establish a basic income guarantee for all Americans similar to what is being proposed in Switzerland. This would establish a guaranteed income for all Americans, immediately eliminating poverty and reducing bureaucratic costs. Posted on November 15, 2013, this petition has only 30 days until December 15, 2013 to collect 100,000 virtual signatures to trigger an official response by the White House. Belgium in his article in Politics and Science, Philippe Van Parish gives a definition to utopian thinking and considers one particular utopian proposal, an unconditional basic income paid to every member of society on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. The article summarizes the main arguments that support this proposal, mentions a number of contexts in which it is being taken seriously, and sketches a number of ways in which sociological insights and research are crucially relevant to the discussion of the economic and political sustainability of an unconditional basic income. Canada. You can read an article of Edward Miller named The Basic Income is Dead for Embrace Unity, Institute for Ethics and Emerging Technologies. Canada. Basic Income Canada Network, being affiliated in Canada, has announced the big push and new national campaign for a basic income guarantee in Canada. The campaign's website is up and running. The big push campaign embraces work to raise awareness about basic income, build public support and secure public commitments for an expanded system of basic income, building on several existing income security programs that are working fairly well. The website includes information how individuals can get involved with or donate to the effort. 
Book Review According to Malcolm Torrey, Alan Sheehan's book, Basic Income Guarantee, Your Right to Economic Security, is a useful contribution to the debate on the reform of tax and benefit systems. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BINews. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.